angelics of the white flame of the new earth rising into the glory of your divinity on the new earth timelines as we transition beyond the event horizon into the zero point energy of the still magnetic center that is the center of the hoop the center of the great wheel of stillness silence and in this compression breakthrough we expand out to the ends of the multiverse, being connected to all things. Happy June 2021, today June 1st, powerful day of activations. The sun, Solaris, is totally lit up, totally activated, activating Pachamama and the ring of fire totally lit up, and our solar plexus totally lit up and activated. In these codes of 144 of the white flame coming in, the white ray of source energy, and a quick update from my white gold eagle emanation. As these powerful June solar activities come rolling in, intense fire activations in the solar plexus and heart center, not only are we holding the line, we are now towing the line. We are like the little tugboats pulling the larger ships to shore. The tugboats being the light workers, the way showers, and the larger ships being the collective consciousness of humanity, we are pulling the energy with us into 5D. Let's face it, the masses need our help, and this is why we came on this mission. The main reason for this is that the time is right, or we can say the ascension was ripe for this great awakening. Aho! And now for our Patreon team, being the first of the month, Multiple people on our Patreon team dropped out, and this is a glitch in the system of Patreon, so if you'd like to still continue supporting our work, please check your Patreon, make sure the payment went through, and this month we will be doing an extra transmission once a week, it will either be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and this will be a transmission from White Gold Eagle Emanation, and it'll be different every week. We will do transmissions, a special transmission, either a meditation, a transmission from my higher self. It may be a song from my sacred condor and I. And this will be a special gift for our supporters on Patreon and those that send us donations. This will be on top of the free transmissions we give every day on this channel. And what we'll do for anyone that sends in a donation for any amount that week, we will send you an email with a link to that transmission or meditation, whatever it is that week. We started last week with a transmission of the Nembutsu. This is from Shin Buddhism. This is a powerful mantra activation from the lineage of Amida Buddha, Amitabha, the Buddha of infinite light and infinite life. So if you're on our Patreon group, be sure to check that out. If you send in a donation up until this next one, which will be this weekend, we will send you that transmission via a link in an email. So if you'd like to join us and make a monthly pledge on Patreon or a one-time PayPal donation, you can do so at the links at eaglelovecondor.com. So we reach out to all of you and thank you all for supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of you and your financial support that we're able to continue this work and to bring these transmissions to the world for free every day. So namaste, beloved beings of light. We appreciate and love every one of you. And now with these fiery, intense energies flowing in, the Schumann has been quiet for a couple of days. This is another calm before the next wave the next storm flowing in, this is a storm of higher frequency energies, something sacred this way comes. And over the last 24 hours, we had many powerful activations, 153 M1.5 or greater earthquakes, most powerful again on the ring of fire today, 5.5 five south of Panama, 5.5 five portal, fifth dimensional energies, activating, rising up earlier today, we had two activations right on the Tropic of Capricorn. 
Southern East Pacific Rise 4.9, 13 of the Divine Goddess, South Pacific Ocean on the other side of the ocean, close to New Zealand, 4.8, this is the 12 of the Divine Feminine. In South America, in the foothills of the Andes, in the most southern point of the Amazon, just the south of the Tropic of Capricorn, we had a 5.0, 43 kilometers depth. Mentone, Texas, 3.1, 3.12, 3.1, 4.4, activation, Divine 44. Cascade, Idaho, 3.6, Council of Nine coming in. Japan, 4.8. Russia 4.5, 4.6, Okinawa, Japan 4.7, and the sacred portal of Afghanistan where the three holy mountains merge together, Tian Shan in the north, Upper Dan Tian, Celestial Mountain, Kunlun in the middle, Divine Feminine Heart Center, and Himalayan, Lower Dan Tian, Divine Masculine, Kundalini, with a 4.0, 180 kilometers depth. Okinawa, Japan, another 4-4 activation, creating an 8-8 portal, Indonesia 4-4, 8-8 Lions Gate, Lyran Nation, Bolivia, South America, and the Andes Mountains, right on the border of Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina, sacred portal in the Andes, home of our sacred condor, Bridgeport, California, 3.1, Central Alaska, 3-2, Southern Yukon Territory, Canada, 3-2, Taiwan 46, Indonesia 4.6, 111, 111 kilometers depth, the 111 portal, Greece 4.7, another Okinawa, Japan, activation 4.3, South Shetland Islands in the trunk of Ganesh, the sacred elephant 4.5, Council of Nine, Chalice, Idaho 3.4, Aguanga, California, 3.4, Papua New Guinea on the Ring of Fire, 4.9, Hokkaido, Japan, 4.6, Iwate, Japan, 4.4, 4. two activations in Puerto Rico, 3.0 and 3.2, Divine Atlantean Energy, this is the new Atlantis, the Divine Masculine Christos Energy of the Christ Conscious Beings of Eternal Light. These energies are assisting our threefold flame, in our heart center to be lit up, activated, rising up through the sacred portal, the rainbow bridge that runs through our sacred temple, that runs through the cosmos. This is dragon energy, what we call the dragon lines, that resonate at the highest frequencies. 73 coming in, 37 into the 73, heaven on earth. And now my sacred condor, my goddess, pull a card for you today from the tarot deck Shadowscapes from Stephanie Poi Moon Law and Barbara Moore. And the card she pulled for you today, a beautiful card, Page of Cups. She delves down through the waves, seeking to be alone and to find a peaceful place to contemplate her own thoughts. She brings a cup with her. It brims with the captured essence of sunlight from the world so high above her own. It contains the tiny sparks and flashes that have drifted down to the seabed in its bits of golden coin or in the stray shaft of sunlight that manages to pierce through the fathoms. All of that is distilled into the precious contents held in her hands. She lifts the cup underneath her face, feels that remembered warmth of the sun's kiss upon the wave tops. The heat spirals out through the water with tendrils of peace and tranquility. The radiance sparks her thoughts and her imagination. She feels her mind begin to set adrift, and her vision fills with dreams of the fantastic. The Page of Cups is sentimental. She is a true romantic at heart, and in a world that is filled with so much noise and bustle, she longs for the time and space to simply breathe and to truly take in the pleasures that abound. She listens to the still voice from deep inside that speaks with understanding and intuition, and she longs to believe in the impossible. Now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, S.A. Smith. You made it. Those May energies are behind you. Bring on June. You did it. The massive purging energies of May are done. June shines in all fresh and bright, bringing in new energies of action. 
Don't get me wrong, we will still experience bigger energies, but they will be different than what you have been experiencing. They will be more floaty, blissful energies, more opening up of you rather than the digging deep. It truly is a turning point on your ascension path. An exciting one too. Do you have your three days of food ready? You are deeper in it now than ever before. This truly is a magical exciting time. I've got my popcorn ready to sit and watch the fun, do you? Four full moons to go. Have an amazing week, a girl in the universe.com. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Karen Lithica, Ancient Light Scribes. Understand the true geometric light signature is expanding through this timeline. Your role is simply to emanate your true light formation, to weave your light in this construct. To see the great transition and role in emanating your light signature is simply the light path. The ebbs and flows of your Akashic light signature in this now moment reflects your personal growth of self-realization and actualization of your light journey. To see your light construct like a geometric light puzzle, decoding, reassimilating to the natural way of Mother Gaia, as your current world reconfigures, your light is like a puzzle piece anchoring to Mother Gaia. As you assist your species in the light transition, it is simply the task of following your light path. Have peace with the journey and circumstances, for it is just a game of growth and rapid expansion before you. For your role is a multifractal personal Akashic light journey, coupled with the collective ascension of your world. As you feel your light frequency, feel your light sensitivity expanding, for this is the task before you. Simply be in higher light harmony beyond the physical limitations of your world. As you balance this viewpoint, it will be a new level of higher light awakening. This is the task before you, as we collectively share and assist in global unity. Love for your day, the Arcturians and Karen Lithica from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Jason Estes. Templates tests for June are very interesting, as we are now doing votes, so they may seem a bit stronger than usual. However, as we learn this new style of living, things will become easier, not harder, after this one. Also, we had a huge jump and are now at 562 data points per hour. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Laura Pleiadian, I am not human, Starlight Activations, 11 of 111. I am not human, we are not human, that are transmitting to you now. And why should we fit into your mental constructs as we are not part of that thinking process and what it contains? Ideas of how things are are not the same as seeing how things really are from the higher dimensions of consciousness manifestation. Of course, these words appear as just human words and have no meaning in themselves. Do not put your beliefs in the words themselves, or you will remain caught up in your mental constructs. Consciousness is what is being transmitted here. Do you feel? The idea of being human is a construct of the mind. We exist beyond this and yet it forms a reality that you exist in that we know of as unreal. Existing in this state of consciousness in 3D is like being the undead to us. For you are animated and believing in a solid body that does not exist. Yet you exist asleep to what really is. All is frequency and we transmit the real into the unreal. Not many see or know. If we were to appear on your doorstep, you would not see us as your frequency is contained within the unreal. To awaken from this long sleep of the undead suddenly would be like what you call death here, yet it is a more awake state. All exists here and now, and although many may think in their minds this is a joke, this is not, just who can hear and know is the question at hand in this moment. A handful maybe, yet their power is gaining in its foundation and soon they will rise up. These boundless ones are with us now as much as we are here, yet you do not see. Awaken, sleepy ones, as consciousness never sleeps, awaken to the truth. This exists only in this moment, and all is here. I am not human, we are not, and we are present. This unfolding is perfect as it always was and is now. We activate the heart through which all exists, through this harmonious frequency. Remember, we are not human. In love, that is eternity, that we are. From the new DivineHumanity.com And from Divine Feminine 7777 June feels like a new start on many levels. We are starting a new cycle. 
After the death and rebirth kind of energy in April and May, we are ending an old cycle and moving forward. With Mercury and Saturn retrograde, there will be less active moving forward in the physical life kind of energy because we will focus more on what is happening within. We will be able to understand things better. The energies will help us to do so. They will help us to let go of the ego's resistance to change. So we will be able to live in the present moment, go with the flow, not hold ourselves back and do what others, other people, society, ego say or expect us to do. With new energy coming in, solar eclipse, solstice, we will receive an energetic boost that will kick us into the unknown, where we will find new levels of awareness, consciousness, and let go of what we have been holding on and start creating the life we desire, our new reality. Be patient with yourself. Diving deep into the old might bring up some triggers, fears, blocks that will hold you back and bring doubts into your everyday life. Don't allow the ego to cause drama and just ignore it. See it, accept it is there. But ignore it and do what feels right instead. Enjoy June, dear soul tribe. And from Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, June 1st, 2021. Erasing data, moving to the heart. Message, during June and the upcoming summer solstice, immense amounts of data will be erased from Earth's 3D reality, but also from everyone's personal system and reality. This could be felt strongly and could be a destabilizing factor for the totality of the different human processes. It will be like one is losing the up until now understanding of reality. It is good to know and remember that this is actually the ultimate goal. Only after one loses the old understanding of reality can we open to the truth that is coming from the heart. This upcoming erasing of eons and eons of data from the program which all humans have been running in their systems, is the reason why everyone has been called to bring back the presence of the wholeness of their heart, surrender and start living through her, because it is through the heart that each will be able to navigate their way on, and it is also through living from the heart that each will be able to remain free. Surrendering to the wholeness of the heart will be the only way of balancing during and after this erasing process, and will also be the only way that each will be able to feel and stay safe and grounded amidst the outer chaos that this erasing will eventually cause. What is ahead is an experiential process. Many who have been carrying trauma and resistance to forgive, let go of control and trust their inner guidance, will now be facing strong life events in order to learn living from their heart. Life will be showing everyone how to start living from the heart. The return of the wholeness of the heart sounds a new way of being away from isolation and into multidimensionality. Follow her, she knows, Erini. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn, servant of Yahweh, masks are quickly falling off the people around you. Their deceptive ways and thoughts towards you can no longer be hidden. God knows and is commanding these polarities to end now. You are sacred in his eyes. Spirit is protecting you and all that is sacred to him including the sacred sites on the earth. We are no longer dwelling in temptation, I am hearing. Focus on grounding your energy to be calm and logical. Let go of the relationships that did not manifest. Heal your abandonment wounds that are triggering the desire to attach to unhealthy people and situations. Break habits of spying on people and tapping into their energy fields. Transformation is here under God's authority. He is putting an end to what needs to end. You may have been scared or disillusioned to make these changes on your own. Fear of the unknown, the fear of judgments may have contributed to being stuck in the past. The karma and karmic debts of the past, especially in love and marriage, are done. The seed point entity in these repeated lifetimes of relationship loops is with the devil. Today this frequency is showing up as lust and narcissistic temptation of the Jezebel spirit that lures with sex, physical attention, and false promises. The purpose of these contracts in this present life cycle is to serve your evolution and ascension out of those karmic loops for good. You came here to clear these genetic contracts for your family and future generations. This is completing now in the physical. God is fulfilling his word on this freedom for you. Nothing can stop us now. New beginnings must commence through this eclipse season. This is our time of great harvest. New pathways are open to upgrade into joyfully fulfilled life. 
A new reality is here for the 144,000 divine unions. Take a chance and let God lead your way through this lunar cycle into new healthy relationships that God has chosen for the new earth. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. Grandmother Medicine Bear wants to come in now and say, I transmit my healing blue Venusian bear paw to you now, right directly onto your heart and solar chakras. And feel into this energy and allow it to carry you directly to your true home, the kingdom of heaven eternally within. Beloved beings of light, know that this quantum leap into the unknown, into the unknowable, is a great leap of faith. And you've got this, beloveds. Know that we have your back, the higher dimensions, and all the eagles and condors that fly with you into the freedom of this great awakening. And from Shamanic Astrology Mystery School, additional Mercury Cycle Considerations by Divine Bro Star of the Light, Daniel Giamario, with the remarkable and gorgeous South Node Lunar Eclipse behind us, and now being well into the year's first eclipse season, let's check in on the Mercury cycle. The profound nature of its upcoming relationships with the U.S. chart and the June 10th solar eclipse will be explored in next month's post. Several important events happened over the past weekend. Venus and Mercury conjoined with beauty, in the evening sky on Friday night at 24 degrees Gemini, and shortly after, Mercury began its retrograde cycle on Saturday, 3.34 p.m. PDT, at 24 degrees Gemini. Many everywhere have shared about the even popular, in my opinion, usually overhyped times of Mercury retrograde. Is the Gemini Synod possibly Mercury's master circuit? I believe it to be. Let's look a bit of Mercury magic. The Synod of Mercury averages 116.88 days and three Synods fit into a solar year at almost exactly the value of pi, 3.1415, an irrational number. The fraction 22 over 7 can also be used for this value. With Mercury, it takes 22 complete Synods to return to a given starting point at the seventh year. This is why the first true synodic return of Mercury happens at age 7. Over the course of a life, the synodic planetary returns happen in a pattern of 7s and 6s with several nearly exact correspondences at ages 13, 26, 33, 46, 59, 66, 73, and 79. To better understand the magic of Mercury, check out the pattern of Mercury returns with the Gemini synodic overtone. Mercury will begin its next synodic cycle with Mercury going direct in Gemini on June 22nd and last until Mercury stationary direct on October 18th. Beginning the Libran synodic overtone. Should you turn one of those ages between those dates, you will be in a synodic Mercury return. In traditional astrology, Mercury is said to rule Gemini and Virgo, whilst the shamanic astrology paradigm does not use rulerships, I have always thought that Mercury has a greater resonance with Gemini than with Virgo. Gemini is certainly more mercurial than Virgo. When Mercury turns retrograde, this begins its archetypal and alchemical metamorphosis from one overtone into another. The current Aquarian overtone is drawing to a close. The signs of Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus have been traversed, and now the shapeshift into Gemini is well underway. Mercury resides in the sign of Gemini from May 3rd through July 11th. The current retrograde time is like a preliminary trying out of Gemini, as the Aquarius overtone is being left behind. The complete emergence into the morning sky of the Gemini archetype will occur June 22nd at 16 degrees Gemini. With much of the world relying on left brain agreements and digital technologies, certainly this retrograde time will be wild and totally unpredictable. But if you know that this is the intention, then you can flourish by using Aquarian and Gemini strategies. Employ the high witness that can see the objective overview without judgment and maintain equanimity and neutrality. 
also as Gemini comes on even stronger, be willing to see beyond duality and polarities, and see the cosmic joke as our minds try to figure out what is happening. Another suggestion is to invoke allies such as Tholth, Seshat, Hermes, and Iris. From Divine Sister of the Light, Sarah Hayes, June 1st, 2021. June 2021, the most active plus transformational month of 2021. Major beginnings plus completions, curveballs plus breakthroughs. Welcome to June 2021. We have now made it halfway through the year. This is reason to celebrate and this month is another very active and profound period. We are still knee deep in eclipse season and this will continue to create curveballs, shifts in destiny and major developments. If your life up until this month seemed rather dull or blah, then get ready for some major action, variety, and stimulation. The month of June heralds a lot of mix-ups, reversals, and divine order at play. We will be quite mentally active and astute with a continued plethora of Gemini activity in the cosmos. There will be no shortage of interesting aspects and movements within the planets. It might be hard to ground ourselves as we will be lacking a lot of the earth element in the sky. Since there will be an abundance of air plus water present this month, it will be imperative to add in the missing element of earth into our daily practice. To bring in the earth element, getting out in nature, playing in the dirt, or taking off your shoes and walking around barefoot will be beneficial. Tending to be more practical and mundane tasks will also help anchor in the earthly vibes. This month is sure to be one to remember as it will bring in lots of change and reversals of fate. I will begin in the middle of the month when things get super interesting and active. On June 10th, we have the powerful and potent solar eclipse at 19 degrees Gemini. Solar eclipses are new moons on steroids and herald massive new beginnings, fresh perspectives and the slate being wiped clean. Since eclipses represent curveballs and resets, often the events on or around an eclipse bring in surprises, shocks, and unforeseen situations. Gemini, the third zodiac sign, deals with the intellect, curiosity, communication, play, and whimsical pursuits. The solar eclipse in Gemini is here to awaken and refresh our ability to communicate our deepest desires and wants. There is power and prestige with our words now, so be especially aware of what you are saying and how you are communicating. This is an excellent new moon to get started on a blog, book, or new website. Another reason communication will be so prominent will be the solar eclipse in Gemini's conjunction to retrograde Mercury in Gemini. While many new endeavors around communication will be favored, with retrograde Mercury and Gemini in the mix, some of these inspiring thoughts and plans could actually come from past people or situations. Expect some kind of new beginning with an old project, person, or situation. We'll have to watch for being all up in our head as the mental acumen and drifting of the mind will be very present. On June 14th, we have the second meetup of Saturn and Aquarius in a square with Uranus and Taurus. Their first meetup occurred on February 17th, and the third will be on December 24th, 2021. Saturn and Aquarius in a tense battle with Uranus and Taurus will continue to bring up issues around order versus innovation, system versus originality, government power versus personal freedoms. I expect to see some kind of further regulations, lockdowns from various countries, governments, and the retaliation for protecting such rights from individuals. This aspect is one in which the government's plans are in favor of innovation plus change for large groups of people often excluding what will benefit the freedoms and independence of the individual. Major protests and clashes between both the old and the new will continue to be big themes with this aspect. On June 21st, we have the arrival of the summer solstice here in the northern hemisphere and winter solstice in the southern hemisphere. We also have the sun, which represents our ego, life force, and vitality, moving from the airy sign of Gemini into the watery sign of Cancer. Cancer is all about family, home, nurturing, protection, and comfort. The sun's entry into Cancer will certainly make us more connected to our feelings, and the nostalgic vibes of the past will also be ushered in. This is a great solar cycle to begin becoming more in touch with our emotional states, renovating our home and attending to the needs of our family and friends. On June 22nd, Mercury, the planet of the mind, communication, and contracts, turns direct at 16 degrees Gemini. 
After weeks of confusion and mental mishaps, we will slowly start to see business plans, projects, and endeavors clear up and be resolved. Any misunderstandings and lack of clarity will be sorted, and our minds will begin to declutter and forward movement and our plans will be provided. This is a great time to re-engage in mental pursuits and to re-establish any long-standing business objectives. Finally, on June 24th, we have another powerful lunation with the full moon at 3 degrees of Capricorn. Full moons always represent endings, completions, and manifestations. Capricorn, the 10th zodiac sign, is known to represent authority, structures, hard work, and success. This will be a very supportive and prosperous full moon, although the moon is technically in her fall in the sign Capricorn, due to the fact that she rules the opposite sign of Cancer. This is still an auspicious lunar event. The full moon in Capricorn will bring in lots of tangible rewards and manifestations for all our hard work. There is no sign that is more dedicated and persistent to excellence as an honorary Capricorn. This is a great lunar cycle to pay extra attention to your business growth, bank accounts, and see the fruits of your labor bring in harvest plus abundance. This full moon in Capricorn is making a beneficial 60 degree sextile to Jupiter and Pisces as well. The full moon in a lovely dance with Jupiter will increase the fortune and good blessings as Jupiter is the greatest benefic planet in our solar system. Spiritual gifts along with practical applications will be highlighted by this earthy full moon. June 2021 is a month in which many changes of fate and destiny will be felt and witnessed. If there weren't many shifts in May due to the eclipse season being activated, then you are sure to see some change in progress in June. Major reversals and plot twists will occur. The main things to focus on this month will be around staying grounded and patient as possible. Never an easy task regardless of what is happening in the sky, but very important especially with all the shifts and movements occurring. If you are looking for a miracle or shift, then the month of June will certainly bring in your heart's desires. June 2021 wants to show you that just when you thought something was over or done, the universe will come in and throw you a revival plus renewal of energy. June 2021 is here to bring in the shifts we desire in order to move things forward, breakthroughs in our mental clarity after weeks of confusion and twists of fate, and fortune that leaves us in awe of the wisdom of Mother Nature. From astromama.com and from Divine Sister of the Light Leah, White Horse, Lua Astrology, Sun conjunct the North Node in Gemini, and sesquadrate Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. The light is on, the signal blares, the gate is open. Pay attention to synchronicity as karma is at work. Important choices and conversations illuminate the best direction for your soul's growth. Listen to what is said. Note the thoughts that arise in your mind. Follow your guiding star. Reorientate to your true north. The Sabian symbol for the sun and the north node as newly opened lands offer the pioneer new opportunities for experience. An adventure beckons, but the sun's connection to Pluto also taps into fears. That's okay. It's natural to be afraid if you have not been this way before. Don't get spooked by your own shadow. Stand strong in your power. Own your truth. Creative transformation begins with one small step. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 169, Red Cosmic Moon. Cosmic is the name for the number 13, and its keywords are transcend, endure, and presence. The last day of a wave spell is about contemplating the 13-day journey, which in this case began on Red Earth. 13 is a powerful number with a powerful message. We must endure to transcend, or in other words, progress must be earned the hard way and is not given easily. Think about what you have learnt lately and absorb that information as tomorrow a new journey begins. Today is Red Moon, which represents purification, universal water and flow. The moon affects the ocean tides in our minds. It teaches us the lesson of letting go. Some things are just greater than ourselves and we need to recognize that and concede. This is not about giving up but rather trusting that things are going your way without your meddling or input to throw things off course. The guide today is the Red Skywalker which represents space, wakefulness, and explore. 
Whenever Skywalker leads, we are encouraged to get out of our own comfort zones and explore, as today the Skywalker leads the moon. This suggests we explore how much we are able to go with the flow. Skywalker is adventurous and very brave. Follow that example, and that will do you good. From Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Cosmic Moon, Kin 169, 1st of June 2021, Flowing with the Cosmos, 16-2021 equal 165 equal 111 equal 12 equal 3. 111 Triple Gateway New Beginnings, 1 New Beginning Leader Original, 6 Heaven Christ Family Harmony, 5 Freedom Change Transformation Liberation, 11 Portal Gate Polarity, 2 Twins Cooperation Partners, 3 Holy Trinity Joy Creativity, Kin 169 equals 16 equals 7, Mystic Spiritual Magic Initiation, a very feminine fluid day to go with Gaia's flow. Welcome to June, the sixth month of the year which represents heaven and Christ energies. The six also represents harmony, fertility, and romance. A very beautiful high vibe frequency. June is the sixth month in 2021, a five year which adds up to an 11 universal month. The 11 represents a portal or gateway so this month promises to be potent for walking through new doors and choosing which of the two paths you will follow. The 11 reduces to a 2, which denotes pairing, partners, and twins. June is the month of Gemini, the twins, so powerful twin soul and partnership energies at play to harmonize polarity and separation. Very promising energy to harmonize relationships. On June 10th, we have a solar eclipse with both the sun and new moon in the sign of Gemini, the twins. So we have a huge polarity reset to unify the divine masculine and divine feminine in, in this realm. Another huge evolutionary shift for humanity to transcend the duality, patriarchal control matrix. Very exciting transformational shifts happening. The goddess rises in all her cosmic glory. Today is a very powerful, magical goddess day as the moon represents the goddess as does the 13th cosmic tone of creation. So the code of Kin 169 is doubled today. A very divinely feminine day. Indeed, the goddess has risen today and you will sense her pure presence assisting you in transcending the old patriarchal paradigm. The goddess is calling you to actively listen can you feel her presence riding on the waves of pure cosmic consciousness? Go goddess! And so we arrive at day 13, the final day in the red earth wave spell of evolution, through navigating our way through the signs, synchronicity, and earth magic, flowing and aligning with the rhythms and cycles of Nova Gaia. We commence this red earth wave spell on day 1, seeking to attract all that we required, to connect with Mother Gaia through listening to her signs and synchronicity. On day 13, we evolve to realize that through our feminine goddess consciousness, we become one with Gaia's rhythms and cycles. And as we merge with our planetary body through love, honor, and respect, we become one with the greater cosmos and all that is. Today, as we close this 13-day journey with Kaban, we have evolved to just hold the pure presence of Red Earth, becoming more fluid and hypersensitive to the cosmic cycles of our planet, becoming one with our Earth Mother, blending into her consciousness as she absorbs us into her being as we all ascend together as one body. Tone of creation, cosmic is the last and final tone of creation, the highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the mystical number of the cosmic order, the goddess, and synchronic natural time. Cosmic, Action transcends, power endures, essence, presence. Today you have incredible spiritual power at your disposal to transcend all those old patterns, releasing the limited conditioning where the world and all its trappings dissolve into the cosmic mists. We can transform them by our pure presence, translating into pure bliss. We have arrived. Add some. I am here. This is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness. Today we can be still and connect to the essence of our greatest magic, 
the frequency of pure internal presence through cosmic goddess. So beloveds, a divine goddess day of, a, of transcendent being, expanding our cosmic antenna into the higher realms of the stars and other dimensions of the earth. Enjoy just being today. Today's question is, how can I allow the heart of the goddess to flow through my being as I expand into cosmic consciousness through my pure presence? And so we bid adieu to Kaban, the beautiful flowing and synchronistic red earth who guided our evolutionary journey over the last 13 days, providing the powerful GPS needed to show us where our collective destiny is leading us. Of course, all roads lead us back home to love. For why else do we incarnate in a body but to experience love in all its forms? Tomorrow we commence a brand new wave spell packed with the beautiful awakening of our precious hearts. Ah, the loyal white dog is our trusted guide. And so our journey through the dream spell continues. Divine blessings for allowing the goddess power to flow through your transcendent beingness. In La Kek, a la Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 169, Red, Cosmic Moon. The mantra, the code for today is, I endure in order to purify. Transcending flow, I seal the process of universal water. With the cosmic tone of presence, I am guided by the power of space. And on this powerful day, of massive transformations. Please let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for your support through your monthly pledges and donations. We rely on your support for our daily living expenses. I'd like to thank Divine Angel of the Light, Nur Ten, for raising your pledge on Patreon today. So if you'd like to support our work and mission and help us to be able to continue creating these daily transmissions, you can make a monthly pledge on Patreon or a one-time donation on PayPal through the links at egolovecondor.com. And as I said earlier, we'll be doing an extra transmission for our supporters on Patreon and for those that donate. And this will be once a week, either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. We'll let you know in our daily transmissions. And for those that are part of our Patreon group, please check out the transmission from white gold eagle emanation of the Nembutsu from Shin Buddhism that we uploaded several days ago. And if you donate any amount, we will send you a link to that transmission. And if you're already part of our Patreon, this comes with your membership. So be sure to check that out. And again, please check to see if you still want to support us on Patreon, if your payment went through this month. For multiple people, it did not, so we appreciate if you would check that, and we appreciate all for your, co your continued support. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors art business on Etsy. She has the Zodiac Goddess Totems made to order, and the full set of 12, one will be available, but each Zodiac Totem will be made once it's ordered, so please allow 7 to 10 days for that to be shipped and each one of her works of art comes with the energy and the codes of divine union abundance and love so check these out at lunagoddessart.com now we're going to end today's transmissions first again from our pleiadian bro stars and sisters of the light and then a powerful affirmation pleiades one messages june 1st 2021 p1 calling terrans for origins recognition Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. Construction of new standards continues to accelerate. Rhythmic adjustments continue. Arcturians disconnect specific devices. Rivalries enter into crystalline healings. Augmented transmutation in multi-fields. Zone transitions in progress. 
elevated return for immediate help. Mirroring is increased considerably. Sector 69 of base 23T in depopulation. 53% non regressive. Zetas invited to leave. The light celebrates. Next, 79. Flash, central imminent sun. 84% non regressive. The light celebrates. P1 in data collection. Next, analysis. Island of Purification, Projectors Pointed and Held, 84% Non-Regressive. Island of Dreams Being Mapped, Projectors Aimed and in Support, 84% Non-Regressive. Comfort Zones Are Shattered, Temporarily End of Transmission, Pleiades 1, Potentiating Lemurian Inheritances, from DisclosureNews.it. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Judith Kusel, Powerful Affirmations. I am listening to my own soul, and I follow its inner guidance and knowing. I am true to my own soul self. I am soul. I am not allowing the outside voices to drown my own inner voice and intuitive knowing and divine guidance. I am true to my own soul self and the divine within from judithkusel.com 444 coming in now and earlier during the transmission as i pause for a moment the shadow of walela the hummingbird appeared on the wall giving us all the hummingbird transmission also a code came through the elephant flying on the wings of the butterfly and i'd like to thank divine sister of the light nicola nicola karma for your beautiful butterfly stickers. We received those today in the mail. So thank you, Nicola. Thank you very much. And also in today's video, the first image from Divine Sister of the Light, Gypsy Soul, and the second one from our Divine Sister of the Light, Arifa Gill. So thank you very much, Divine Sisters. So with that, beloved beings of light, have a beautiful, blessed, and amazing June transformation through these powerful energies and activations, and keep holding the line and towing the line for all of humanity. And always remember to smile, 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 ground, 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 as we go through and through and through until we totally break through. For in the heavens and upon the earth, I am alone the world honored one and together we are so much more i am the way the truth and the life keep walking gently your sacred path with heart upon our beloved pachamama and be sure to make it the best day ever the eagle and the condor love you all namaste